Hallelujah. You reign for we join with the angels this afternoon, Lord. Ooh, tonight we join with the angels on high. The angels on high. The angels we cry out.
through the valley even of Baca, the valley of weeping believers worship there and it becomes a place of springs and fountains God that's good can't even make it up it's Psalm 84 for some reason we land on this today Lord even though we pass through the valley of weeping the valley of Baca, believers worship you anyway Passing through the valley of the valley of weeping, and you make it a place of springs and fountains, even with their tears. I love it, Lord. Thank you for the power of the Scripture, the power of your Word. How we love it. You have fountains for our reef, springs and fountains for this time. Springs and fountains for this time. Springs and fountains for this time right here. This time right here, yeah. Springs and fountains for this time. Springs and fountains for this time. Springs and fountains right here for our refreshing. Springs and fountains for this time. Springs and fountains for this time, my God. Springs and fountains for this time. Springs and fountains for this time. Times a 
Somebody say yes in this room. Come on. Oh, I'm not leaving it behind. (laughs) This has got all those old school chord changes from the 80s in it. All nations. All nations. Arthur. Show words.
this Luke 10 chapter 2 we're gonna pray as Jesus commanded the disciples he said here is my command to you <clears throat> the harvest is great number one simple number two the laborers good laborers are few so pray the Lord of the harvest Pray the Lord of the harvest for laborers. We're doing something scriptural here tonight. We believe, Lord. You gave a command because we could do it. We could actually pray. Good laborers into the harvest is great. Do all nations. Brazil. What nation are you from? He lived in France. He's born in Brazil. All right. Brazil. 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 I just thought it was interesting as we were singing that song about the nations that Arthur kind of took over for a minute. Woo! And uh, he was our one guy that's like not from here. Amen. You know, so I love that. Luke chapter 10, verse 1. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them in pairs ahead of him into every city Man. and place where he himself was going to come. And he was saying to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest wow. to send out laborers into his harvest. Wow. And as I was seeking the Lord before this meeting tonight, I was asking the Lord, would he give us uh, an, an historic time of prayer. Something we would look back on and say, wow, that, you know, the Lord was releasing something, launching something, bringing to pass something. And so tonight, Lord, we recognize the value, the importance of harvesting, God, of reaching the multiplied millions across the planet, the hundreds of thousands in our own city. And Lord, as we were singing that song about all nations, all nations coming to you, every tribe and tongue, nation and ethnic group. Lord, tonight, tonight I thank you for the opportunity to stand before you and to ask you for laborers to be sent into the harvest. So we seek you this very night. God, it says here that you are sending them into the every city and place where you yourself were going to go. And so, Lord, tonight I just believe city after city, community after community, nation after nation where you plan on going, Jesus. That you want to launch laborers into those places. And so tonight, God, before we get super deep into it, I just say thank you. God, that we're partnering with you tonight yes. to invite you to send laborers into the harvest. Yes. God, we believe the greatest harvest of all time is yet in front of us. God, you said they can't believe unless they hear. They can't hear unless there's a preacher. There can't be a preacher unless he's sent. They're sent. And so tonight, God, we're calling for a sending movement, a sending movement, God, across the earth, that you would raise up laborers, God, that you would spark passion, that you would spark anointing, that you would spark desire. God, in thousands of laborers that will go to every corner of the planet, 
all throughout our own region here in St. Louis, but across America, across the nations. God, in Afghanistan tonight, you would raise up laborers. In Haiti tonight, God, you would raise up laborers. God, in every war-torn area, God, you would raise up laborers in Iran and China. Lord, you would raise up laborers in Iraq. Lord, we're trying out to you tonight. Laborers in New York. Laborers in San Francisco. Laborers in Kansas City. Laborers right here in St. Louis, Lord. So we ask you, Lord of the harvest, for laborers to be launched. I'm crying out to you for a launching movement, a releasing movement, God, of laborers to bring the gospel, to bring the harvest to you, oh God. We cry out to you for it tonight. our time, Lord of the harvest, we plead with you, we beseech you, laborers for the harvest, Lord, we ask you for thousands of laborers for the harvest, we need million, we need a million laborers for the harvest, we pray right now. victorious work of your Holy Spirit. God, that you would speak here, speak there. God, begin to call and woo those laborers, God, right now. God, you said we should ask you to send laborers out. So I'm asking tonight that right now, God, right now in the 25th day of August, 2021, God, that you would whisper or shout your calling, God, to laborers all throughout the nation, all throughout the nations. Lord, I'm crying out to you again tonight. I just say, Lord, in Afghanistan, would you raise up laborers, Lord? Would you raise up men and women and children, God, with the fire of God, the reality of God in the inner man to labor, maybe in secret, God. Maybe they have to labor in secret, but bringing about a great revival in Afghanistan tonight, God. As we see what's going on in the natural, we know, God, the rescue mission is going on. I'm praying tonight, God, for a Holy Ghost rescue mission in Afghanistan, God. They keep telling us thousands are being set free. Lord, we want millions to be set free from sin and death. Millions to be set free, God, from oppression, the oppression of the devil, that they might be born again. So we say release laborers into Afghanistan tonight. 
God, I'm trusting you for that. We've been crying out to you for it, God. Here we are, right back here, the exact same verse, God. We just say, here we are again. Send laborers. Send anointed laborers, God, into the harvest, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name. Waterfalls of souls. Waterfalls of souls are coming in, coming in by the million there. We cry waterfalls of souls. Waterfalls of souls are coming in, coming in, Lord of the harvest. Well, waterfalls of souls, waterfalls of souls are coming in, coming in, Lord of the harvest. Waterfalls of souls, they're coming in. they began throughout to go throughout the villages preaching the gospel and healing everywhere and Lord we know that uh, these passages are what took place and what you released and what you did and Lord I believe it's these kind of laborers that you want to raise up God I believe you want to raise up all kinds of laborers but I believe you want to raise up these kinds God anointed by the Holy Spirit, authority oh over God. demons and sickness. Yes. God, that the power of the gospel would go forth, God, not in word only, but also in power. Paul said he went around preaching in the power of the Spirit, in the power of signs and wonders. So, Lord, I'm asking for those kind of laborers that you would raise up here in St. Louis and all across the heartland, Lord, that you would raise up in Europe and in Asia and in South America, God, and in Africa. I'm crying out to you for miracle-working laborers. God, that's why I believe this is historic tonight. I believe you are calling, you are wooing, you are restoring, you are reviving laborers with this kind of an anointing on their lives. God, to bring deliverance in an hour, bring deliverance in a moment, bring deliverance to a city, bring deliverance to a region. So we cry out to you tonight, God, for this kind of laborer, the one that's anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, authority over demons and sickness. God, they will enter into villages in, in West Africa and declare the word of God and hundreds will come and many will be healed and delivered. God, right throughout the globe, we're crying out to you, God, not just for willing people, 
but highly anointed, demonstrating the power of God. Laborers launched, 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 sent, oh God, across the nations of the earth to bring multiplied millions, all nations coming to bow before you. I'm crying out to you for it tonight. Holy Spirit, anointed laborers, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing too hard for you, Lord. Nothing too hard for you. Laborers for the harvest, yeah. There's nothing too hard for you, yeah. Nothing too hard for you. Laborers for the harvest are coming through. Yes, coming Lord. through. opportunity to seek you, to ask, to seek, to knock. We're grateful, God. We know that uh, it says in uh, Matthew's version of those Luke verses that we were reading that you were moved with compassion. You saw the people like sheep without a shepherd, so you said to them, pray to the Lord of the harvest for laborers to go into that harvest. And so tonight, as we join our hearts with your heart, God, devoting ourselves to prayer, grateful for the opportunity to merge our hearts with yours tonight. We pray tonight, God, for an open door for the word. God, in the nations of the earth, right here in St. Louis, God, we've been lifting up Afghanistan before you. God, open wide a door for the gospel 
right here in St. Louis, God, but in wow. Afghanistan and, and in uh, and in earthquake torn Haiti, God, open up a door for the word, God. We're asking tonight, God, with just joining our hearts with yours as we see those sheep without a shepherd, longing, God, for something, longing for feeding, longing for restoration. Oh we cry God. out to you, Lord of the harvest, release laborers into these fields to rescue those that are broken and downtrodden and lost and, and dispirited, oh God. So we cry out to you, we join our hearts with yours, and we say, God, open wide a door for the gospel. Open wide a door for the gospel for us, God, in our own neighborhoods and in our own relationships, but across the globe and throughout this city, we're crying out to you, God, for an open door for the word of God that your word, the mystery of the gospel, the reality of the gospel, that unfolding, that revealing of your heart, that revealing of your Father's heart, that revealing of your passion for your people. God, there would be a wide door opened up for the mystery of the gospel to be proclaimed to the seven billion people around the globe. We're crying out to you for it tonight in Jesus' powerful name. This is your provision and your promise, O oh Lord, laborers for the harvest. It's your provision and your promises, oh, on this planet Earth. Yeah, it's your provision and promises, laborers for the harvest. It's not impossible. It's not impossible with you. This is your provision. Your promises out. Yeah. This is your provision and your promises. Yeah. This is your provision and your promises. Yeah. Only in you. Don't you love it? This is his provision. He wouldn't have us prayed if it wasn't going to happen. This is your provision and your promises. Your provision and your promise. This is your provision and your promise. We see it in your. It's a word that we've heard. It's the word that we have heard. Nah, nah. It's a word that we've heard. Provision, promise, and provision. And wait one more time. This is your provision and your promise.
the harvest, Jesus. In Acts 19, Paul was ministering the shepherd of the harvest. Ephesus in Asia. And it says that he was teaching in a school and it took place for two years and all who lived in Asia heard the word of the Lord. Oh my God. Both Jews and Greeks got this whole geographic region heard the word of the Lord. In a particular time and season in that region that they called Asia then in Ephesus, and in Ephesians 1, Paul prays this, I do not cease giving thanks for you while making mention of you in my prayers. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward those who believe these are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might so lord tonight we pray for an opening of the eyes an enlightening of the eyes god paul was preaching and teaching this stuff in ephesus on the ground and all of that whole region heard the word of the lord and so tonight we look into his letter to those people and we say, God, would you enlighten the eyes, grant to us, grant to the people of our city, grant to the people of the nations, Lord, a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of God, that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened, the eyes of the hearts of the multiplied millions, God, would be enlightened to understand more and more of the hope of your calling of us. God, that we would be refreshed and, and renewed. The people of God and the people that are coming, becoming pe the people of God would understand hope, would understand joy. They would understand the surpassing greatness of, that you have toward them in Christ. So we ask tonight, God, for an enlightening of the hearts, an awakening of lives, miracle after miracle after miracle. God, here in St. Louis and across the heartland, and throughout the nations, God, the enlightening of eyes, the opening of our understanding about the beauty, the majesty, the glory, the wonder of Christ Jesus, the wonder, the glory, the beauty, the high and loftiness of who you are. God, I'm asking for that to dawn upon millions of hearts as these laborers go and minister and speak and declare and do miracles, God. Eyes of hearts, enlightened God. Spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of the Holy One would come thundering into human hearts. Lord. We trust you for that. We believe, God, for the miracle, the miracle of millions of people coming to know you, but knowing you the way you are, seeing the way you are, understanding the surpassing glory, the surpassing wisdom, the surpassing wonder and glory of the resurrected Jesus Christ. Oh, we bless your name tonight, God. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. Let it be. Let it be, God. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord,
Ephesians 1, open the eyes. You open the eyes of my Lord. Ooh, open the eyes of my heart. Because I want to see Gotta see you. Open. You open the eyes of my heart. Holy God. Open the eyes of my heart. I wanna see you. I wanna see you. Play in that key in the spirit. <laughs> Let's do A.
Come on, sing that out. That's it. Come on, that's what's up. That's what's up. This is never about the people on the platform. It's always about all of us in Jesus. So God. Jesus.
we thank you that you are the king you are the lord there is none other we worship you we give you glory we honor you we reverence you We lay everything down. We say you are the Lord over all. church in St. Louis. We just speak to those wicked powers right now in the name of Jesus. We curse every lie in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. We speak to the corruption that has infiltrated every area of government in the St. Louis area. We just command you now to cease and desist in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, we say no more, enough, enough, Jesus' name. We just loose angels now to remove you, from, remove you from your places of power. And you different city officials that have chosen to follow the way of corruption, we have one word for you, and that word is repent. Repent now. Turn from your evil, wicked ways and repent and fall on your faces now before the Lamb of glory. We say right now, you, you wicked seats of corruption, to repent or be removed. Repent or be removed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We speak righteousness and justice in the government and the courts of St. Louis. And let that voice and let that fragrance of righteous victory let that rain out from St. Louis. Let that fragrance lift up out of St. Louis and let it infiltrate into East St. Louis and into the rest of Missouri, Father. We claim St. Louis. We claim the state of Missouri in Jesus' name. Yeah, we claim the, the state of Illinois in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Let the center of this country be the center of your heart, Lord. We will not go quietly into the night. We will fight. We will continue to fight. We will continue to stand. No, ma no matter what. No matter what. We don't take our cues from CNN, the Communist News Network. We don't take our cues from Fox News, all these corrupt agencies. Your time, your time of lies is coming closely to the, to an end. 
The Lamb of Glory is coming. 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 Jesus. Jesus. He's coming. And he's not playing. Jesus. Jesus.